this is Amrita Verma for the Wall Art TV, and I'm with Anapurna Garimela, uh, who has curated this fantastic show, which uh, which is Manu Parikh solo at Art Alive Gurgaon. Hi, Anapurna. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how did this uh, whole, uh, you know, the uh, curation of the show? How did it take place? And what um, like? About two, three years ago, when I was starting to do my research on um, vernacular artists, I spent a lot of time talking to uh, Manu Parikh. Um, and his work with the Weaver Service Center and with the um, National Handloom and Handicrafts Board. And from that conversation, I think there was a kind of comfort that he might have developed. Talking, I certainly developed it, but he also developed it. And then um, he asked me to curate an exhibition, and uh, he wanted me to design the exhibition, design the catalog, write the essay, and curate it. So I said, well, that's very nice to be able to put together an entire symphony and modulated in a very um, nice way. So uh, I spent a lot of time talking to him, and then I spent a lot of time looking at his drawings, and a lot of stuff that people have been writing about him over the years. And I really felt like the, um, a large body of his work, which is about sexuality, um, had been hinted at, but not had been given adequate attention, or needed to get more attention, maybe. That's the right way to put it. And um, I decided to kind of look at the drawings and the images and all, bring them all together. And he keeps talking about Benares, but actually, and he also says that Benares is an excuse to paint. So I felt like, okay, so if you have a place like that that's an excuse to paint, then what, are, what do you paint out of that excuse, you know? So um, the show is the end result of that. Yeah, these are his new sketches. Those are the really old sketches over there. These are his new things, you know, 2010, whatever. But there you have stuff from 1961, 63. So you can see how the same obsessions evolve and change and stay the same and are, are reused and all that kind of stuff. So that was, that's a nice thing, you know. It's, just, it's, a, it's not like this... Um, the work is, attempt, is um, supposed to stand... Uh, and tell the story with amongst itself, no? And the curatorial gestures are just little um, signposts rather than a large, heavy kind of presence. So that's why I wanted to, because you can do a lot of um, theoretical work by the way you install something and the way you position art and that kind of stuff. So that was the... Particularly upon these three works which are there, the element Yeah. Very interesting works are there. Yeah, they are. They're very interesting. I think, um, you know, they're kind of scary. And I think that that element is important to hold on to. Um, that they're not these kind of tame little paintings. You know, they're big. They're colorful. A lot of that stuff is creeping and oozing and all that kind of stuff. And at the same time, it's very ritualistic. So, you know, that kind of relationship to, like, say... Um, it's, it's not domesticating. You know, it doesn't... Dom you, I don't want to domesticate it. I want to allow it to be um, a little bit immodest, a little bit unrestrained, much in the way that, you know, when you see popular rituals, kind of a little scary sometimes when you see people sticking, you know, things through their tongues and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, this is, this. Is, he's got works from 1987 in terms of finished works to now. So you can see what things have changed and what his new things, and I'm sure he, he's still painting, so he'll go on to something new in a while. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.